Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the Obsidian community plugin called as Surfing. Surfing is an Obsidian plugin that allows you to browse the web within Obsidian. You can open external links directly inside Obsidian. You can browse through different pages. You can go back and forth between different pages. Uh, and you can also use the web source functionality. You can set a default tab, which looks something like this, uh, where you can search with Google or any other search engine that you prefer to use. So let me show you some of the features of this surfing plugin and how you can start using this plugin in your own Obsidian vault. Let me open a new vault, test vault here. And you'll need to go to Comedy plugins and search for surfing over here and you'll just need to install it from here surfing surf the net in obsidian so enable this from here you can go to options to see different options that are available here let me show you some of the configurations that are available in this plugin here is the first option is open in the same tab whenever you click on the link whether you want it to open in the same tab or you want it to open in a new tab so i'll just click on open it on a new tab you can also enable the options to show refresh button near the search bar you can enable the custom link to highlight format. Also, you can save the web page as a markdown. So you can choose a folder where you want to save the markdown file. This can be helpful, especially when you want to save pages for offline reading. If you want to use this plugin within Canvas, you can enable this option. Here is another cool option that you can see. Open URL in Obsidian Web from other software. If you enable this option, open URL in Obsidian Web from other software. If you are using browser of your own choice and you want to move to Obsidian, you want to see that web page inside Obsidian, then you can enable this option. When you enable this, you will see this option, Obsidian bookmarklet code. Now what you need to do is go to your browser of choice. For example, I am using Microsoft Edge over here. You will need to enable this favorites options. If you are using Chrome, then it might be bookmarks. If you are using Edge, you can just see on this click on this favorites icon and you can go to three options uh, these three dots menu and you can enable this so favorites bar always now what you need to do is drag this obsidian bookmarklet code into this favorites bar so now you can see this is added over here now whenever you are on a web page on your browser if you click on this obsidian bookmarklet code it will open the file in obsidian it will open the web page in obsidian this is all about the bookmarklet if you go to search option here you can see show search bar in empty page which if you enable this option you will see a search bar in an empty page just later, let me show you if i open a new tab you can see this is the search bar on a new tab you can also choose the default search engine it is DuckDuckGo by default or you can also choose any other search engine of your choice and here are some other and here are some other options that you might want to explore you can also add custom search engine or here is another options for theme if you are using dark mode it will by default be on dark mode but if you are using a white theme then you might want to toggle dark mode if you want to use the dark mode and here is another option called bookmark you can enable these options to open bookmark bar and bookmark manager let me open a new tab and you can see here is an option of bookmark this is the obsidian bookmark and there is only one bookmark that is available currently you can also see all the bookmarks that are available by clicking on this bookmark icon i think it's closed here let me go to settings and enable this option save bookmark when open url let me just open a new tab i don't know why it's not happening currently but it should when you click on this bookmark option it will show you all the bookmarks that are added inside your obsidian vault and you can also enable other options also another cool option that is available here is the ability to send web pages to readwise so if you enable these options whenever you open a web page let's say let me just open this web page and you can see this option to send to readwise you just need to log into readwise and it will save this web page to readwise let me just close it i just reloaded right now and you can see the bookmarks is working if i click on bookmarks you can see these this is the bookmark obsidian bookmark and you can also add a bookmark from here a name url description you don't need to add this the only thing that is necessary is name and url so you can submit here and it will be added as a bookmark over here and you can directly click on the links on this header and start browsing right from there now let's uh, use the surfing plugin for a second so i'll just search for medium over here here's medium let's go to one of the story so let's open this article by ryan holiday now here are some of the things that you can do here you can go back and forth between these web pages from here you can reload the web page you can send it to readwise you can start it which means it will be favorited it will be added over here right and if you want to remove it you can just go to this bookmark and you can just delete it from here right let me go back again to that web page 
and here are some other things that you can do you can just select a text from the web page or even the article that you are reading maybe it's on your browser let's say let me open my dashboard and go to and you can just go to editing mode and you can select a text on your note and you can just perform a search from here you can search in surfing using different search engines that are available so if i click on google it will show me the google results right and this is simple you can also save this web page as a markdown format so that you can read it or you can process it even when you are offline so you can just click on save current page as a markdown and it will be saved as a markdown format and it's not correctly formatted over the top because it will save all the information from the page like the headers and all that information so it's not formatted correctly on the top but below you can see it's properly formatted and you can also choose the location you want this markdown file to be saved and here you can see currently it is saved in this saved folder because i have assigned the location to be saved over here you can just go to settings and you can say you can assign a save as markdown path from here so this was all about the surfing plugin i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you want to show some support to the channel you can go to my patreon link because i don't know youtube has just rejected my youtube partner program request so you can show support through the patreon link in the description thank you for watching this video have a great time enjoy